have asked who uh, the guy playing guitar in the studio is. Well, there's a couple guys. Uh, the, the crazy guy who looks like Tweety Bird with a little mohawk, that's J3. Um, he's been a, a, a dear friend and um, guitar player on several projects that, that, uh, that we've done. Um, there's another guy with crazy curly hair that Scott actually introduced me to. Uh, his name is Phil X, killer guitar player as well. Um, Chris Cheney playing bass. He plays on what, like everybody's Everyone's record. Everyone's record, yeah. From Alanis Morissette to plays with Jane's Addiction, plays with yeah. Camp Freddy's. <laughs> yeah, Camp Freddy. He's on. He's pretty much on everybody's record because <laughs> he shreds. Yeah. Um, so we've, we've answered that question. And everyone, a lot of people are asking us, you know, well, who are these guys? Or what parts are they playing? And what parts are we playing? Well, the answer to that is we're recording stuff here. You guys are all recording stuff out there, and we're just taking the best of the best. Whatever is the best part is going to win. So if you play a better bass part than Chris Cheney, then we'll use your part. If you don't, then we'll use his part. Same with, <laughs> same with guitars. And drum parts. If you smoke me, I got smoked. <laughs> Whoa! And for those of you who, who are wondering, what's going on over there? Like, we're sitting in our video submissions and our parts, but yet there's other guys in the studio recording, and um, hopefully that... Uh, earlier, we answered your questions about who some of those people are in the studio. Uh, J3, Phil X, uh, Chris Cheney, uh, Scott, and myself. Um, all this is going down simultaneously, so that's why it's so insane to keep up around here. We're just trying to get as much out and up as possible, so hang in there with us, man. This is a first. We're all... Uh, we're all in this together now. We've been getting a lot of uh, suggestions, and there's not really a, a place to go there for that. But uh, starting tonight, uh, at the bottom of every page, there will be a place where you click on suggestions. And it's important for us to know because um, it's a first for all of us. You know, this is the first time we're recording with the entire world. <laughs> and so you, you helping us, uh, we're helping you. Uh, it's a love thing. So just, you know, s send in what you, you know, what you're looking for, what you're asking for, and, and we'll do our best to, to uh, make it clear. Welcome to the Atrium Studios. You guys have been asking about a little tour of the place, so we're gonna get going here. You ready? Try and keep up. <laughs> do a little shot of Jaeger. There's a Starbucks bar back here. Um, at the moment, we're editing video up here, so it's crazy as usual. The movie theater is directly uh, in front of you. And um, let's pass by the indoor hot tub. <laughs> uh, this is the downstairs kitchen where we uh, throw down, right? Pretty fun. Um, let's go through the control room out to the live rooms. Ah. A beautiful koi. Right? Cheers. This is the control room. The beautiful crystal on the phone working as usual. Hi. What's going on? The vintage polyfusion synthesizer for all you tweakers out there. Every badass head on the planet you could ever want is here, and I'll give you a little tour of some of the vintage amps in a second. Um, outboard gear from hell. Workstations here. Those monitors up there, the big guys mimic those, so those in the rest of the room can monitor as well as who's, whoever's driving over here. The SSL 4000G Plus series. Uh, vintage keys is the Nords. And we got the Clavs. Oh man, there's geez, the Moog. It's endless over here. And there's more in storage. We just get out what we need at the moment and put the other guys back to rest. Guitars from hell. Come on, let's go down the hallway. Ooh, scary. <laughs> this is the hallway leading down to the, the two live rooms. This is where we do all the drums here at Atrium. Um, booyah. Uh, the T-51 
TV monitors uh, with video cameras are so we, they can see us out here and we can see them back into the control room. Now, those monitors I showed you on the big wall um, also can be switched uh, input so we can monitor what's going on out here. Um, there you go, we've got drums uh, out here in the big room. We've done drums actually in the smaller room as well. Uh, for that smaller sound or opened up this room to make it an even bigger room and so you're utilizing both rooms. Um, same thing here with the vocal setup. Um, this is kind of the vocal vintage guitar world once again with uh, monitors so we can see and communicate while we do our thing here. Look at this. The Voxes, the, the Matchless, dude, it's endless over here. The Supra. Um, Follow me to the engine room. What's up, NASA? Come in here and just feel the hum. <laughs> right? Another monitor here, so if you're doing anything on the uh, on the desktop unit, you can do it here and not have to go back and forth. For all you tweakers, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for the super loud, super crazy, we got the... Uh, Guitar ISOs, a couple of stacks in here, Saldano, Wagner, Diesel, and Marshall, the four best cabinets you could possibly want to use that have all been hand-picked for maximum distortion. <laughs> That's about it. It's nothing too crazy, but it's, uh, it's comfortable and it's got an amazing vibe and uh, you get a lot of nice stuff done here. Come on. That guy's scary.